is a demonstration of, what is this? In class demos. Um, yeah, that's it. This is increment A, which is, what? It's a blank screen. See if you could blank out the screen. <sighs> yeah, increment A is just finish a mastermind game. No, I'm kidding. This is my increment 17. And you might think, well, 17? Uh, I thought you said there were 20 or so. There's more than 20 increments. 17 is the highest numbered stable mastermind I have. It's the highest numbered one that, uh, as far as I can tell, does everything it's supposed to do. Because just as you are going to do as the semester winds down or ramps up, whichever way you want to view it, after we all get our basic mastermind games working, then we throw it to the wind. Then you can set up a two-person game. You can have a game with uh, ultimate animation going on. You could have a game with sound effects, things moving around on the screen. You could, you could actual, actually make click sounds. Uh, I don't know if you could tell on the big screen, but these are 3D down here. Uh, you can go ahead and make your buttons or beats 3D if you want to. It's gradient. And I looked up, I don't even remember what I looked up, but it was Swift UI, gradient, and somehow or another managed to get to gradient circles, which makes it look like they're sun shining on my beads. Just, just a little extra touch. But all those sorts of extra touch things, that'll be after we get to, well, sometime at least after we get to this point you will go off on a tangent on your own and see what you can track down and that's where the interesting part of the semester more or less begins for your creative juices that will be flowing. You get to make it your own and get to show it off at the end of the semester. Shut up, okay. Uh, I officially shut up. I, um, here's, here's increment seven in action. Well, there are messages going on back there. But I'm gonna choose a color and I'm gonna put uh, the red one right here. Click. What happened? Game is playing, we know that. Click. Why, why, <coughs> why won't it let me? I know it's a dumb question, answer it anyway. Why won't it let me click on any of these up here? It only works on the first row. I want that one to be red. And I want that one to be red. And I want this one to be orange and that one to be orange. Now you might not have noticed I'll call your attention to it because it might have been too subtle. If I, here's another thing. Um, if I keep it orange and click on an orange bead, it becomes a nil optional again. So you can wipe out a guess without having to change its color if you want to give it some thought and the color bead there is just in your way. I can change a red to orange by clicking on it, but now that it's orange, if I click on it again, it goes away. So it's setting it back to and undefined optional when I do that. I can't click on my go button. We don't have a go button yet. Some form of a go button, whether it's enter or done or whatever, that will be your increment eight. So after you've got full bead row, then your go button or enter or whatever it is, that will become active. And when you click on that, that's when it should go to the next row. That shouldn't happen automatically. And that, that makes sense if you think about it. That's like the keyboard buffer where you type in your name. Oh, no, I misspelled England. You can backspace and change your mind, type it again. Same thing here. Until I press the go button, it does not go to the next row. Okay, stop talking and start playing. Now, now you'll notice what showed up was I still didn't call your attention to it. Watch the go button. I'm going to change it back. The go button is not highlighted. I'm clicking on it and nothing's happening. If I put an orange bead there, it's highlighted in red. I put a red outline instead of a black outline. Now I can click on it. And it doesn't look like anything happened. Someone well versed in the uh, ins and outs and rules of mastermind. What, what's the philosophical implication of that? There's no red or orange. How about yellow and green? Why not that? Oh, wonderful. What does that mean according to the rules of mastermind? Either one yellow or one green. Now again, going back to uh, what do I got to do for increment eight, 
These go, go buttons, it shows you the ghost of a go button. These are dead. These will no longer in this game be activated. So I can click on those till the cows come home. They're not gonna do anything. These don't do anything at all. Oh, but wait, this one, this one doesn't do anything at all. The only time my go button will be activated is when I have a guess that is full of beads. Uh, which one do you think is right, the yellow or the green? Yellow. yellow then it's gotta be one of these two places. Now I'm applying logic here. Watch out for logic, that'll get you in the model back there. But um, the yellow, now that's player logic, that's not model logic. The yellow has gotta be here or here, I'll arbitrarily pick there, and I'll fill the, the rest of this in the way you tell me to. What's the first one? This one? This one? Now, did, did everybody see this become highlighted in, in red all of a sudden? Click. Oh, look at that. Now this, this is go. That's just an indicator though that this uh, row is now active. You can assume that the user will know which row is active by trying to click on rows that are not active if you want to. All of that is to say you do not have to have a column of go buttons over here. You, might ha you, you could even have an additional circle down here that says enter or go or something like that. And that's what they click on when they've got the guess completely filled out. Okay, I'm doing all the talking and I'm none of the listening. So someone tell me what would be a good guess to put for the next one here. And if you start off with red or orange, I'm gonna veto it. Purple, green, blue, blue. Purple, green, blue, blue. Is everybody okay with that? Now listening. When we get to the end of the game, then I'm gonna go back and make sure that my feedback person did not cheat. That's a, uh, from my own experience, that is a difficult part to get right. These beads, it's easy to describe what they represent. Let's see whether or not that's true. What do these three white beads mean? These are, there are three correct colors in this row, but they are all in the wrong position. What do these two red feedback beads mean? Two correct colors. Two correct colors that are in the right place. Purple, purple, blue, yellow. Is everybody okay with that? <coughs> oh, you won. And my little bonus to the winner down at the bottom, that's the only animation I have working so far. My spring break is gonna be dedicated to animated effects because there are a lot of cool things you can do, I just can't do them yet. And that's where variations go off on the tangent. So far so good. Let's double check and see if we agree with this. Uh, is it true there are no reds or oranges? Yes. Is there one color bead that's correct here but in the wrong place? Yes, the yellow one. Are there three that are correct here, but in the wrong place? Well, yellow's in the wrong place, purple's in the red place, wrong place, blue's in the wrong place. And two of these, which two? This purple one and this blue one, okay? So it does take a little bit of time, and that's actually the part that I'm a little bit worried about for Friday to try to get that many uh, elimination rounds done, is because it does take a little bit of time to check to make sure the feedback beads were all correct. Okay, and there's my, there's my bonus to the winner. It says you won, I need to work on the font, maybe make that flash or something. But here's the secret code that it had chosen at random back behind the scenes in the model. Does anybody have any question about this so far? What if I wanna play another game? I click on Mastermind and it starts it over from scratch. Let's try the Schwab approach. Oh, one of your beads is right. I tell you it works. It worked pretty well, let's do it again. Oh, one of them is still right. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna stop this. Okay, orange. What if I click on this? It goes away and I can't go. I'm clicking on the go button, but it won't go. Uh, well, if an orange one is correct, then it has to go there. I'll get serious about this. That red one was correct. And these two are blue. When I was practicing this game, just a bit of trivia, exactly one time did I get it right on the first guess. 
I guessed it at random. As far as I can recall, I'm sorry, Mr. Schwab, but to my knowledge, the secret code has never been a solid color all the way across. I guess that's like winning the lottery in Mastermind. But um, those didn't work very well. I'm going to go back to Schwab. The Schwab approach. And that didn't work. Um, blue. Maybe, no, purple. I haven't tried purple. Maybe they're all purple. <laughs> this is just to show you. It doesn't go past, and you get the game over. At first, I had a message that said, you lose. But in addition to that, it also shows you the solution down here. So you can still check, even if you don't get the game right, you can still check and see whether or not your beads were, um, you got feedback on your beads correctly. Now, let's just double check here. Yep, the green one's in the wrong place. There's no orange. There's one red. No orange, one red. Two of these, one's in the wrong place. Uh, the blue is in the wrong place. The red is in the right place. That red is in the right place, and there are no purples. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that is, uh, as I said, that's my increment 17. It might not necessarily be our class as increment 17. It just depends on, as we're doing baby steps one at a time, how we get up to that point. Does anybody have any questions or what ifs uh, or anything about the rules or just the play of the game? This was, by the way, it's not to, it's not to demonstrate an increment or anything. This is just to, to, for those that might not yet have tried to play the mastermind game, this is a, just a general cursory overview of the rules and how to play. And I, I haven't given away any of my deeply held secret strategies. So I'm still viable for the tournament on Friday. You've given away all my strategies. Yeah, yeah, we know yours. <laughs> Somebody else could have the green strategy. Let's just see. No green. It would be cool, just since I said it never happens. Eh, well, there's two blues. Oh, 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 let's see the glowing beads one more time. We're almost there. I haven't gotten any in the wrong place. Red? Nah, you want to wait. There is some little, a little bit of thinking here. Two blues. Two blues are right. And the last purple. Two blues. And the last one is purple. And then we'll add that one to the orange here. Oh, I think it's going to be yellow. Oh, you may well wonder. Yeah, this is the advanced mastermind. I granted myself the executive decision to make it only one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven guesses rather than 10? Why, why, why? Because I stuck with 10 as long as I could. It was a narrow, this whole business of the feedback beads and the go buttons and everything fit in a smaller, narrower column than the beads do here. And my initial solution to that was scroll views are easy. You just surround everything in a scroll view the way you do in a V stack or an H stack or whatever. And all of a sudden, you can scroll the beads up and down. And a, a more annoying spectacle I do not recall seeing. Uh, you do not want to have to be scrolling up and down on these when you're trying to guess the game. So if you want something that fills the screen better, then I will almost certainly approve a reduction of the number of guesses, as long as it's not something like two or three. We didn't do the go button yet. Remember, I can make it optional again, but the drama. Is this it? Yes, you win. Blue, blue, yellow, purple. Well, that took less time than I thought. Does anybody have any questions? Okay, that's it. Come in all practiced up and caffeined up if you have to, although there will be uh, Mountain Dew here for your consumption.